Good afternoon and welcome to Claymont High School where this afternoon WSN brings you the Division VI Regional Championship Volleyball matchup between two teams that know each other very, very well, the Anna Rockets and the Coldwater Cavaliers. My name is Mark Schein. My pleasure to be played by Slot Play alongside Mr. Chris Luthold. Chris, I've said it many, many times, the Regional Championship game is the hardest game to win. Everybody wants to play in the state tournament. You got to win this one to get there or you're playing good competition. Well, yeah, and these two teams have been here before, and they've played a lot of tough competition all year, but it's not the same as playing in the regional championship game. That is. Now, let's talk about the Anna Rockets a little bit, Chris. They are 17-7. and seven. They were 8-4 and four in the Shelby County Athletic League. How about the Rockets? What do we look for from them today? Well, they run a 5-1, and their setter is, Anna, is uh, Izzy Jenkins, 603 assists. And I think a, a key for them is that on serve receive, they're going to have to serve the cold water serve. They're going to have to pass the cold water serve really well to give Jenkins two or three options to set when that ball comes over the net for the first time because cold water is just a very good team once they get the ball. Coldwater then, Chris, they were the number one ranked team in the state this year. They've had that moniker on them all year long. They played 75 sets. They've won 73 of those sets. They've been on a roll all year long. Strengths for them today. Well, their setter also is outstanding. Mia Kanapke has 835 uh, uh, assists. But, of course, they've got the great Spencer Etzler, the Stanford recruit, she's a tremendous outside hitter, but even better than that, she's a great defensive player. Morgan Blassingame is an uh, experienced hitter in the middle, and I think a key for them, though, is to not be intimidated by Anna's block. They are a little bit better blocking team, and they want to make sure that they hit that ball hard into the block and not be afraid if they get blocked a couple times to just go at it and make sure they cover the block well. We're in the middle of our Loudest Jewelry pregame show. Your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. You can visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Chris, I know it's a daytime match. There's a lot, of, a lot of windows in here. There's a lot of glare off the floor. Does it bother girls, or is that just something that's put out of your back of your mind? I don't think it will because just looking at uh, where we are up, we're pretty high, and so we see that glare. But I think if you're on the floor, um, that glare, the angle is not going to bother him too much. And, and um, I, if I were coaching, I would make sure I don't mention that to them because then they'll never be able to, to not see it. Of course, we don't switch ends of the floor anymore, so you're going to get used to playing on one side anyway. Final question, Chris, before we get into this, we mentioned Coldwater. They've been ranked number one all season long. Any extra pressure there, or is the fact that Anna's not under any pressure because they weren't ranked, they could just come out and play. Any advantage that way today? I think in the regional finals, uh, no. I don't think there'll be that type of pressure either way. Um, they have faced seven common opponents, and of course Coldwater is 7-0 and against those four, but Anna's 4-3, and so they have competed well against those opponents. But I think what you said earlier is it, that the pressure of, of winning because it is the regional final is greater than the pressures that you mentioned a second ago. So the winner wants to win this one. Obviously, that will take them to Vandalia Butler High School next Friday night where they will play at 5.30 p.m. in the state semifinals. This has been our pregame show, sponsored by Loudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. You can visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudixjewelry.com. We've got all the pregame stuff out of the way. We've got a couple of officials to announce later on, but we'll do that when we come back right after this watching High School Turner Volleyball in WOSN. Welcome back to Northmont High School. Our premier sponsor this afternoon is Playmore Lanes. Specializing in family fun before and after the game. So go ahead to Playmore Lanes for great food and cold beverages. Starting lineups have been introduced. We should give you our officials' names today. Our R1 is Mark Horton, R2 is Jeff Klein, and our two line judges today are Amy Beals and Tom Adenaro. Chris Luthold, it's a big game, man. It's fun to be here, isn't it? I Yeah, when I heard that, uh, that uh, we were going to do this game, I was very excited, and I'm sure I'm not even closely the, <laughs> as excited as the players and fans are. On the right side of your screen will be the Coldwater Cavaliers. They were in their black uniforms with the orange trim. Their libero, who is Campbell Etzler, will be in a white jersey today. On the left side of your screen will be the green-clad Anna Rockets. 
And their libero will also be wearing a white jersey today, and that is Madison Mumaw. She wears number 10. The winner will head to Vandalia Butler next Friday evening. Play in the state tournament. They will play the winner of Independence and Dalton, who are playing at this time as we speak. And our opening serve will be done by Kiera Kanapke. To the libero, here's the setter. Jenkins pops it up in the air, hit from the back row that time by Ava Reed. Spencer Etzler will get a kill attempt. Jenkins runs that one down, and the kill attempt from the far side is by Liz Stouter, and she missed the shot. Coldwater scores first. Well, both teams got a chance to hit there, so uh, you always want to see that on the first ball. Kanapke will serve a second time, the junior. Jenkins will set. Stouter on the far side, and she hits it through the blocker. The Anna Rockets are on the board. We're tied at one. To serve will be Izzy Jenkins. She wears number 11. She has 26 aces this year as the setter for Kelly Zumberger's Anna Rockets. Set. Spencer Etzler was played by the libero. Jenkins will set again. Stouter will tip this time. Mia Kanapke sets from the back row. The shot attempt comes up short for Morgan Blassen game. Well, both teams now have a hitting error. 2-1 in favor of the Rockets. As Jenkins will serve again and then head to the front row to set. Kanapke will set. Out of the middle will be Etzler, and Spencer goes off a blocker and ties it at two. This will bring in number 10, Briley Kanapke. She plays in the back row and will serve. He's a freshman to Jenkins. Set on the right side this time. It was by McKenna Pettis. Jenkins has to dive to make that play. Short set in the middle, and it's blocked. Called prolonged contact on the block. Trying to play it out of the net. Well, we talked about that pregame that, that uh, Ann is a pretty decent blocking team. Madison Mumaw, the libero, serves. Good line drive serve for here. Kanapke goes and gets it. Etzler hits. Jenkins plays that. It'll be free balled over. Actually, Garrett. And then Etzler hits again. And she missed. 4 2 Anna. But I like that play. They ran that tandem with Etzler as the outside hitter, but she ran right behind the middle there. I really like that play. I think it'll work today. Umal serves, will float serve, and she gets an ace. Our aces today are brought to you by Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. two Rockets. Set to Etzler, she goes off a blocker. Here's a libero to set, and it's hit over by the left-handed Warbington. Jenkins has to die for that one, too. Warmington hits, and she missed the sideline. It's 5-3. Spencer Etzler's turn to serve. Jenkins gets to that one. It's that left-handed hit by Warmington. And pull away, Broaring. But they got to it. Stouter hits. That's blocked. Mia Kanapke's there. So is Harlow Hine. It's 5-4. I'm not sure which one got it. Maybe yeah. both of them did. But now each team has a block. And Mia Kanapke's the setter, but she's in the front row right now. So perfectly legal for her to go up and compete with that block anyway. Rockets by one. Jenkins will set. Stouter double hands it over. Blasting game hits. We're tied at five. And Etzler will serve again. 
Morgan Blastigame, a senior, 5'11". She's a first-team all-conference player in the MAC. But she's serving right down line. We'll see if she does it again. Nope, serves short. Well, but down line. It's free balled over. See what the Cavs do with it. Kanapke hits. It seems like, Chris, that's one of the things we've seen more and more and more this year, that setter in the front row who takes it over on two. Well, she can do that when that uh, when that pass went right up there to her, right at the yep. net, so she was able to do that. Yeah, really, you have to be on your toes if you're on defense. Cabs up, 6-5. Same service spot. And the pass was not very good that particular time. It's 7-5. Typically a really good passer is Izzy Jenkins. That time, not, not so much. Etzler will serve again. This is a Jenkins set. Stouter hits. That's blocked. There's boring. 8-5 Cavs. Nice little run here for uh, Coldwater. I think that's six points in a row. That would be correct. It was 5-2 when they broke service. That's their serve five in a row. Have to track that one down. From the back row, McKenna Pettis. Set, Broering, excuse me, blasting game, and she scores again. It's 9-5. Timeout and the Rockets. Cavaliers on a roll. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our presenting sponsor today is Loudix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. You can visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Our first set sponsor today is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. You mentioned a moment ago it was 5-2, Chris, and it is now 9-5 Cavaliers, a seven-point run for them. And interesting that uh, Etzler has served all six of her serves right at Liz Stouter. We'll see if she does it again. Excuse me, five of the six serves at, at Stouter. That one heads to the libero instead, Moomaw. This will be set to the far side. It's blocked, but it fell on the side of the Cavaliers. That breaks the string, makes it six for Anna and nine for Cavaliers. Anna to serve. This is Stouter to serve. She hits it to Campbell Etzler. Back set. And that's going to be four contacts. Didn't get over. Now the ball is hit right into the tape. 9-7. First team all Shelby County Athletic player here. Liz Stouter to serve. Kanapke sets. Blasted game hits it off the blocker and tips it over. Set to the middle this time. Campbell Etzler gets a hand on it. And Spencer Etzler free balls it over. Ava Reed with that hit. And then the ball will fall on the side of the Cavaliers. And a making a run after the timeout. Nice timing there by Ashley Garrett. Kanapke sets. Last game will tip this time. Hit over by Reed. Short set. And Reed again. Spencer Etzler to that one. Morgan blasts the game, hits it to Muma, and it goes out past the antenna. 10 8. With Campbell Etzler to serve, the freshman libero who was second team all conference in the MAC. This is really a good defensive lineup right now for Coldwater with both of the Etzler girls in the back row. Set, hit, Reed scores. Ava Reed, second team all conference in the SCAL as a junior. Got four girls now from Anna have kills. And to serve will be Olivia Meyer. She's a sophomore with 27 aces. Tipped over by Kanapke. Jenkins sets in the middle, that's blocked. Reed hits. Campbell Etzler got to that one. 
And right at the net to make a play is Morgan blasting game. 11-9. That's her third kill. The setter, Mia Kanapke. She's a first-team all-conference player in the MAC as a junior. Jenkins tracks it down from behind the 10-foot line. The hit is by Meyer. That's blocked. Give that one to Ava Reed. That's Anna's second block today already. 11-10 with service going this time to Ashley Garrett. Mia Kanapke back sets. And putting that one down is Morgan Blasting game. 12-10 Cavaliers. They led by four at one point, nine, five. Blasting game will serve. Jenkins sets up Reed. This goes to Spencer Etzler and she gets it off a blocker. 13-10. That's Etzler's, excuse me, that's Etzler's second kill. Three different girls have kills for Coldwater. Scoreboard brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone as Morgan Blasting Game will serve again. Jenkins runs it down, sets up Ava Reed, who tips it over with the left hand. Kanapke got it out of the net. That was a great job doing that. Kanapke sets again, and Etzler got it in the back line. 14-10. Mark, both teams are able to get runs of points. A lot of times you don't see that at, in the regional finals. You know, a lot of times only one or two points at a time. Of course, the big run was by Spencer Etzler as she served six consecutive points. And now to serve again, Morgan blasts the game. She's trying to score her third consecutive point. Hit over off a blocker by McKenna Pettis. Spencer Etzler, that one's blocked, but it's blocked. Out of bounds. 15-10, Cavaliers. Blasting game serves again. That was a good serve and a good pass. And we're going to get illegal contact. We are. 16-10, Cavaliers, timeout, Anna Rockets. Cavaliers on yet another roll. This one being served by Morgan Blasting game. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Wabash Mutual Telephone is a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And that scoreboard, Chris, shows 16 for Coldwater and 10 for Anna. Well, they, yeah, they're just running a, a points again. This is their second run of points. And Anna was able to come back and, and get back in the game the first time. But you just can't do that time after time after time against a team like Coldwater. Anna has used both of their timeouts, and they trail by six in our opening set. Morgan Blasting game serve. Up front it goes to Ava Reed, and coming out of the timeout, they get what they want. Anna scores, makes it 16-11. That's Reed's second kill. Ava Reed will serve. Kanapke sets Spencer Etzler. That ball is tried to be played by Stouter, tried to tip with an open area and couldn't find it there. 17-11, Coldwater. Now, sometimes a hitter can use just an extra half second. And I mean that seriously, just an extra half second. And that ball just came down too quickly for us. She tried to tip it, but, but uh, tipped it into the net. Here's Kiara Kanapke back in to serve, play in the back row. Jenkins sets. Jenkins will set again from behind the 10-foot line. It's Reed. That's blocked by Hine. Spencer Etzer will get an opportunity. She banged it off of Olivia Meyer for a point. It's 
18-11. Coldwater, our opening set. Well, Spencer Etzler was the defensive player of the year in District 8 this year, but today she's really shown that uh, she's a good offensive player as well with her serving and her hitting. Jenkins gets a good setup. Ball's hit over by Pettis. Spencer Etzler again, and got that one in as well. Kill number five. Well, with her service run, plus these five kills, it's kind of been Spencer Etzler's set. It has been, yeah. Well, but, yeah, and of course the defense is able to play the ball, which gives the setter a chance to set the ball. That all works it, together. It does but, for yeah. a fact. What do you call that, Coach, being in system? Yeah. Hit over by Pettis. Kanapke will short set in the middle. Arlo Hine, the freshman, gets a kill that time. It's 20-11. Mark, I've been watching Hine here a little bit. She playing that middle blocker spot. Uh, fr freshman just, you know, has done a great job here. But I've just watched how quick she is. She gets outside to block quickly. She gets back and gets her approach very quickly. Up nine are the Cavaliers. Stouter hits, and she will score for her team. 20-12. That's her second kill. <clears throat> and it will be Izzy Jenkins' turn to serve. Senior setter for the Anna Rockets. Rockets needing a run, trailing by eight. Kanapke sets Etzler. Good diving play in the back row by Reed. Stouter gets to wind up and hit one. And Kanapke has to go a long way to get that one. That's where free balls it over. Pettis hits. Mark, you, you see this a lot, that a team has to run off the court to make a play, and they end up passing the ball over the net. And, you, you know, the team then is receiving a free ball, and they can't convert on that. That one looked like they were a little bit confused who was going to take the first pat ball, and uh, this didn't work out for them. Set. Pettis will be blocked by Etzler. To the other side, it goes to Stouter. From the back row, that hits by Blasson game. Stouter gets another hit. Tipped over. And catching them by surprise, Mia Kanapke using the left hand. You know, she had 96 kills before tonight as your setter, Chris, and she just does that very well in the front row. And that looked like a uh, left hand was her strong hand, and yes. it's not. And so that's something I, she has worked on, I'm sure. Ten-point lead, Cavaliers. Stouter hits. They want to touch to the Rockets, and they don't get it. So it is 23-12, an 11-point lead for the Cavaliers as Riley Kanapke will serve again. Hit out of the middle by the left-handed Callie Warbington. And she picks up her first kill. 23-13 with the libero Madison Mumaw to serve. 413 digs for her this year in her libero position. And it got to the front row, but Ashley Garrett wasn't able to use it. Cavaliers are a point away from taking our opening set. And Spencer Etzler will serve. Jenkins hits it over. And going for the back line and missing with Morgan Blasting game. It is 24-14 on our Wallbash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Mark, we've seen Blasting game play now for several years. Yes. Her, her arm speed is just so much better than it was when she was younger. And she's going to get a hit right there. And Morgan's kill will give her team the opening set. They will do so at 25-14. Second set coming up after this. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN.
Back from Northmont High School here north of Dayton, our premier sponsor in this Division VI Regional Championship game is Playmore Lanes. Specializing in family fun before and after the game, so head to Playmore Lanes for great food and cold beverages. And our second spot set sponsor today is Ultimate Outdoor. Great resort style live into your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Chris Luthold, you've been keeping some stat numbers. What do they show you for the opening set? Well, first of all, no missed serves in the first set. Uh, Anna had seven kills. They were led by uh, Stouter with two and Reed with two. And, of course, those girls led the team with kills during the season. Uh, they didn't miss any serves, as I said. And they had two blocks for a point and one ace serve. That was from Muma. And for Coldwater, uh, they ended up with 13 kills in the first set. And Blasting Game and Etzler each had five, no aces, and two blocks. So Chris, you, you talk about dance with the one to bring you, and that right now is Morgan Blasting Game and Spencer Etzler on the offensive end. Well, they, you know, both players of the year in District 8. I already mentioned that Spencer Etzler, Spencer Etzler was uh, the defensive player of the year, and her teammate, Morgan Blasting Game, was the offensive player of the year. And, uh, boy, they're showing tonight how they got that. And, uh, just, just playing well. Well, you mentioned earlier, though, you get that first pass, and Mia Kanapke knows what to do with it as a setter. She does, yeah. They've really, both teams actually have passed serve fairly well. Uh, Anna not quite as good as, uh, as Coldwater, and both teams have blocked well as two. Just, there were many blocks that were not for points. We don't keep those stats. Uh, so, um, actually, maybe the game was uh, statistically a little bit closer than what the score showed. As we start set number two, this one, Izzy Jenkins to serve for Anna. Down a set. Jenkins serves the blasting game. Kanapke will back set. It'll be hit over that time by Olivia Braring. Ball got to the net. Etzler got to that one. From the back row is blasting game. She hits it to Reed. Stouter hits it over off the top of the tape. Short set. And hitting it long that time was Harlow Hine. Anna with the first point of set two. I believe they had the first point in set one. Is that correct? Uh, Coldwater scored first, Both and Coldwater, Anna scored the okay. next two. And oh, okay. Yeah. Knapke sets, tipped over. Spencer Etzler finds a spot in the middle of the floor. We're tied at one. But I noticed there that Garrett served short. That wasn't Garrett. That was uh, Jenkins served short on that. I saw Anna warming up before the game, serving a lot to zones two, three, and four. We'll see if that's a strategy change that they're, they're putting in for this set. Riley Kanapke will serve off the tape. Mumaw got to that. Oh. And it's yeah, you don't like to see that. A little miscommunication who's going to play the ball and went out of bounds. Here's a knap key again, Riley. Set by Jenkins. That attempt was by McKenna Pettis. She left that one short. And it is 3-1 Cavaliers. Knap key serves. Jenkins gets to Oop. it and sets it, but she did so. Oops, she yep, over the she line. stepped under the line. Yeah, you can step on the center line as long as part of your foot is above the center line, but your foot cannot be completely over the center line, and she committed that error this time. I thought she did a good job just getting to the ball and staying out of the net, but she did go across the line. And Stouter will hit. Spencer Etzler, and she scores again. Kill seven. The Cavaliers have been able to run off points today. This has been four consecutive serves by Briley Kanapke. Spencer Etzler's blocked, but she's blocked out of bounds. Callie Warbington got hands on it, but couldn't keep it in play. And here the Cavaliers run five in a row again off of serve at six total points. This is really a good floater serve. The ball doesn't spin at all. Well, it spin a little bit there, but usually not spinning at all. Stouter hits off a blocker, and this time she scores for her team. Breaks that run of six consecutive points, makes it 6-2. <clears throat> it's her third kill. She had 
Over 200 on the season. And well Mad over 200. And Madison Mumaw will serve. The libero hits it to her counterpart, Cam Wetzler. That's a great one-handed set. How about that? She tracked it down, kept it in play with one hand, and got a great set to a teammate, 7-2. I'm glad the officials are allowing that. Um, I've seen many, many teams and setters are using that one-hand set. It's an emergency set, but they're allowing that, and the ball continues to move and is not double contacted, so it's certainly legal. Played out of the tape. Kanapke wanted to put that one away, but her teammate got called for double hits at 7-3. That was their chance for a kill, wasn't yeah, it? Those it centers was. like those chances. They get in that, that left front or right front up there, and they want to use that opportunity. Blasting game hits it off a blocker and the tape both. Ava Reed hits. It was a nice job keeping that ball between the antennas. And yet another block, but this one went out of bounds. You talked about their blocking ability earlier, Chris, but the last few they haven't been able to keep in play. Their timing is really good. And this, they're jumping together and have four, four hands up there, but several have been blocked out of bounds. And that put away is done by uh, Callie Warbington. It's 8-4. And in the serve is Olivia Meyer. Back row player with 174 digs this year to go with her 27 aces. Set to Ava Reed. And what do we got? I think the ball changed directions there a little bit too much, so she held on to it a bit too long. Is that one they say you, you can't cross your quadrant? You can't take the ball from one side of your nose to the other side of your nose? Is that what? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not in they, on the officials' meetings. but they, uh, well, they use big words there to confuse everybody. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. take it from one quadrant to yeah. another. Yeah, I get that. As a math guy, I get the quadrants. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I would. Um, and we're going to get, whoa, they kept it alive. Reed will hit off a blocker. They keep it alive again. Free balled again. Back set. You know, Chris, I, I've seen the Cavaliers so many times this year, you just can't hit wood against them. Well, you can't, and it's it's not only diving for the first ball, but it's the second and third as well. They're all prepared for that second and third ball when things get goofy. Paige Ontrop came into play in the front row as Mia Kanapke heads back to serve. Set, read, block, and block out of bounds. 9-6. As we saw in the opening set, Anna gets down and they make a run, get back into it. Garrett will serve. And Garrett missed a serve. Not many of those today. That's the first one. 10-6 okay. as Morgan Blasting Game goes to serve. She line drives one to the back row. Reed gets her shot blocked. And this time she tips it to an open area. Great vision. That's her third kill today. And she has well over 200 kills on the season as well. Ava Reed will head to the service line. In fact, her 230 kills leads this team. Spencer Etzler, and again, off a blocker. Her spike approach is so good. Footwork, and she moves her arms and gets a good crouch. Everything about it is just really good. Young players should watch that and try to do the very same thing. You would almost think that she lives in a family where there are coaches involved. Well, <laughs> yeah, you'd think that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Here's Kara Kanapke to serve. Her team's up four in the second set. Stouter hits. She hits it off of Spencer Etzler. Got up into the rafters, but blasting game gets it. Set again to Stouter, and this time hits it to the back row. And they kept it alive out of the net, but couldn't get it over in three contacts. But they dug that out earlier today, so if you're Anna, you want to stay awake on that. Kanapke dug one of those out earlier. Trailing by three, Izzy Jenkins will serve. Line drives it to Campbell Etzler. 
Spencer, that time the block stays in play, but Cavaliers keep it in play. Lashley game got to that one. They're going to get a hit out of that. And Spencer has to score. Kill it, number 10. It all started with that tracking the ball down. It was headed to the back line. Lashley game listed at 5'11", and she used every bit of that height to get to that one. Riley Kanapke serves. Good job keeping that ball alive that time by Warbington. And then it goes out. 13-8, Cavaliers, timeout Rockets. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our presenting sponsor today is Loudix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Cavaliers up 18-13, hence the timeout by Kelly Zumberger, trying to break this run of the Cavalier strings. And the serve again will be Riley Kanapke. She had a good service run of five points earlier in the set. Jenkins will set. And there's Spencer Etzler block along with Harlow Hine. Well, both teams are getting a lot of hands on those spikes up there. And uh, a lot of them have been blocked out of bounds. A lot of them have been played up. But uh, there's a, a nice block. Jenkins will set. Stouter on the far side. And Liz scores. Well, she has a really good spike approach, too. She really rears back and drops that right hand way back so it can contact the ball at its maximum speed. Madison Muma, the senior libero, her turn to serve. Fifteen nine, Cole Water with Spencer Etzler's turn to serve. As she's about to serve, Chris, was she Defensive Player of the Year because of her blocks or her digs? Well, you can combine <laughs> them. I was going to yeah, say, you combine them. She yeah. does both so well. Serve, receive as well. Those three things: serve, receive, and right digs, there, and blocking. She, yeah, right there, she knocks up an ace sponsored by Burke Petroleum. They're now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. Cavs up by seven. Set, hit out of the middle, that's blocked. Hine got that one. Stouter hits, and it went off the arm of Riley Kanaki. So Anna will get served back at 16-10. And that's her third kill for the set, fifth overall. The Stouter serves to Campbell Etzler. Tipped over, big joust at the net. Reed will get another opportunity, and this time she pushes it to an open spot. Sometimes you can see that spot peripherally. It's hard to tell, you know, whether that's the case or if she just thought that would be a good place to, to tip the ball, but that was wide open. Stouter with her team trailing by five. And... I like this, uh, Chris. You, you don't yell across the floor as a coach. You ask your captain to go talk to the R1. This is done professionally the way it's supposed to be done. Yeah, but then we can't hear it. If the coach <laughs> yells that, then we can hear it. So I have no idea what's going on here. Well, whatever it is, the Cavaliers got an answer to their question, and we're ready for Liz Stouter to serve again. And she lines it out. Three missed serves this set. Campbell Etzler's turn to serve. She has 40 aces this year. Was third on the team. Set. Reed hits. Kanapke. That one popped up in the air, and Mia says, I got this one. It's 18-11, and it is timeout, Anna. They trail by seven. In set number two, you're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN.
Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And that shows the Coldwater Cavaliers 18, the Anna Rockets 11. Coach Zumberger has taken her second timeout in set two. Well, 10 of the Cavalier points have, been, have come on airs by Anna, so I can see where uh, she wanted to call a timeout and say, just clean this up a little bit. Pushed over. Mia Kanapke sets. Morgan blasts the game, says thank you very much, and puts one away. It's 19-11. I think her nickname should be Blasting Game. Yeah, Blast. how about that? She hits the ball pretty hard. That's her sixth kill. And, and as well as Mia Kanapke sets the ball, these hitters ought to take her out to dinner about should, once a week. <laughs> Just like the offensive lineman yeah, and the quarterback. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Because she has done a really wonderful job today. And we're going to get a couple girls run into each other. Here's Blasting Game set. Nice dig. That one's blocked. Cam Wetzler got to that one. Blasting game sets. Hit over by Kara Kanapke. Stouter pushes to the back row, but Cam Wetzler's there. Ooh. And it may be the most emphatic kill of the match. Morgan Blasting game takes that short set and makes short work of it. The only reason that ball didn't hit the spiking line is because it hit somebody's knee. You hit one inside that 10-foot yeah. line, you've done something. Yeah. Don't know how she snuck that past the block. Campbell Wetzler to serve again. That one went deep. That ball's hit over by Warbington. And then the kill at the net by Blasting Game. They've got him by 10 now. It's 21-11 on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Campbell Wetzler. And line drives it into the net. It's 21-12, Coldwater. It's Coldwater's first miss serve today. And it's not like they serve lollipops. They serve pretty tough. That ball clears the net by just inches. Here's Olivia Meyer who enters to play the back row after she serves. Good service from her. And yet again, there's Morgan blasting game. She has got that middle down right now. 22-12. Campbell Etzler really does a great job of passing the bottom of the ball. She really gets underneath that thing. Mia Kanapke serves. Jenkins will set. And there it is again, Chris. You yeah. just, you're just trying to find yeah. wood against these people. That was a great hit on that slide. Oh, they get a kill there. There they do. Ava Reed was able to put one away for her team to make it 22-13. That's her third of kill of this set and fifth overall. But, yeah, that was a really nice slide run by Anna, and, and Coldwater was able to dig that up. Kenna Pettis will enter and play in the front row as it's served by Garrett, and that's hit long as it touched. I don't see a touch call. It oh, is. Well, it was, yes. R2 had a touch call. Yep. So it is 23-13. Coldwater two points away from taking a two-set lead with Morgan Blasting game to serve. Set to the back row where it's hit over by Garrett. Etzler pushes it over. Jenkins sets Reed. And Cam Wetzel would have set that time. And it's hit. Out of bounds. Good idea, though, to go cross court. 23 14. Coldwater. Ava Reed serving. Yeah, that's, a, that's a tough serve to pass. Esther just tips to the middle of the floor. Cavaliers are a point away from taking their second set of the afternoon. And Spencer's 11th kill today. Kira Kanapke will enter and then serve. She and Paige Ontrop take turns playing front row, back row. Good serve. Jenkins will set, though. Liz Stouter rolls it over. Overpass. And that was touched in the front row. 
24 15. It's bet a second kill. Will be Izzy Jenkins' turn to serve today. In this set, Chris, Anna has scored just two points on service. And there's a service air. Yep. And much like we saw in set number one, Cavaliers close it out with a 10-point lead. They've taken sets one and two. Back with set three in a moment. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our premier sponsor today here at Clayton Northmont High School is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living in your backyard every day with luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Our third set today is sponsored by Playmore Lanes, specializing in family fun before and after the game. So head to Playmore Lanes for great food and for cold beverages. Chris Ludold, you've been keeping stat numbers today, and what, what are your numbers you have for us today? Well, in set two, Coldwater had 12 kills, led by Spencer Etler with six, and Morgan Blasting game with five. They had one ace serve, and that was by Etzler as well. They missed one serve and had one block. For the Anna Rockets, they had 11 kills, four better than the first set. Also, uh, they were led by Liz Stouter with three and Ava Reed with three, uh, but they missed four serves. And I believe all four of those misses were first serves. In other yeah. words, that person's first serve of the rotation before they could have a chance to earn any points. As I look back through my score sheet here, they only scored on service twice. It was uh, eight to four. They scored, made it eight five, and they were down 16 10, made it 16 11. But those are the only points they scored on service in that set. Well, and you know, they can clean that up a little bit. They're a very good team. And uh, Coldwater can't relax because, uh, you know, this is the regional finals and everybody is good in the regional finals. So, you know, if you're Anna, you just look, if you just just cut out a little mistake here and there and you're both in the 20s maybe at, at the end of this set. So you want to you want to just stay playing hard. And if you're Coldwater, you do not want to relax at all. In the district finals, Coldwater was in this spot against St. Henry, winning the opening two sets by similar margins. And St. Henry came back to win set three before Coldwater won set four. And let's see if Anna can do something like that here in set number three as Coldwater serves. Jenkins will set. Ball's hit to the back row that time by McKenna Pettis. And McKenna missed the back row. Just out by a tiny margin from our viewpoint, Mark. I waited a long time and looked at two line judges because I wasn't sure as Kara Kanapke will serve again. Overpass. Spencer Esser was there. Pettis hits that. And Stouter will score off a block. Tied at one. That's her sixth kill. Well, you go to your first team all-conference player, don't you? Your senior leader. Well, That's you what they you did have right to there. here as often as yep. possible, I think. Izzy Jenkins' turn to serve. She line drives it over the net. Kanapke just dumps it over, and she's going to get called for that again. And Coach Etzler says, we've been doing that this year. But uh, our R1 doesn't agree with it, and he has the ultimate uh, say in the matter. Uh, and she's asking the yeah. R2 over there about that. But Well, as we've know. said many times, Chris, that R1 has that judgment. What, what is legal and illegal contact? And he's been consistent with it. He has been. That's her tips, and she tips so off a blocker, and we're tied at two. Such a smart move just to let that ball to tip that right into the upper block which went out of bounds that's the thought maybe i should serve this one and uh, instead <laughs> popping up off the bench is bradley kanapke said it's my turn <laughs> her serve is a bit short so it's three two anna that's cold water second miss rockets off to a good start here in the set number three and the libero, Madison Mumaw, will serve. Blocked at the net by Stouter. Spencer Retzler. 
Good diving play that time, and it kept alive on a really good play by Jenkins. And once more, they put it right to the middle of the floor. We're tied at three. And now Spence Retzer will serve. Senior headed to Stanford to continue her volleyball and academic career. And that ball goes off a block and goes out of bounds on the hit by Warbington. She's got three kills today. So it's 4-3 Anna. And Liz Stouter serves. We're tied at four. Well, now each team has missed a serve in this set. We went through the first set with no misses. Campbell Etzler serves. And she gets an ace. Our ace sponsor today is Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. A little bit of husband and wife serve receive there, Mark. No, 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 commu no communication, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ava Reed shots blocked. She's going to get another opportunity. And she scores that time as Riley Kanapke couldn't handle it. We're tied at five. That's her sixth kill. Good start for the Rockets as Olivia Meyer enters to serve and then be a back row player. Olivia and Kelly Warbington. And there's an ace. Another Burke Petroleum ace. This time by the Anna Rockets makes it 6-5. Just their second ace serve. But these teams are so good at serve receive, it's not surprising that there's not that many aces. Set. Blasting game tips out of the middle. Jenkins will set this up. And it's hit out of bounds by Garrett. Actually missed the sidelines. We're tied at six. Paige Ontrop enters into the front row as Mia Kanapi goes to serve. Has to be free balled over by Garrett. Ooh. And there's another one of those big kills out of the middle by Morgan Blassingame. Kill number 12. Seven, six. Kanapke to serve again. We're tied at seven. There's Ashley Garrett to serve. 5'5", five, five, Junior. To Campbell Etzler. That's a great backup. Blasting game shot's blocked. Kanapke tried to push it over. And Ava Reed goes through a blocker and scores. It's 8-7 Rockets. This is the latest they've had a lead today. Hanging in there with Garrett to serve. Another line drive. And there's Morgan blasting game. They've got that timing down really well, don't they? Well, they do. And, and that was not an easy serve to pass. And Etzler did a great job getting underneath it. And, but the ball came very quickly to, to Kanapi, and she was able to get a really good set off that. That was a nice play by Coldwater all around. We're tied at eight with Morgan blasting game to serve. Jenkins. Back sets this time and does set a Pettis who scores. 9 8 Rockets. So they've run that slide a couple times today. This is the first time for a kill. It's Pettis' third kill. Ava Reed will serve. Spencer Etzler. And Stouter scores, 10-8. The Chris, we said in the second set, Anna only scored two points on service. We're at 10-8 in this set, and they've scored three times on oh, service. Oh, good for them, yeah. And that was a great dig on that hit. I can't remember who did that, but that whole place 
started with that great dig off, uh, off of uh, Spencer Etzler's hit. Kanapke will set. Spencer Etzler. Jenkins hits it to the middle. Pettis gets it to Campbell Etzler. And overpass. And what do we got? Got a Cavalier in the net. Yes. 11-8, Anna. Timeout, Coldwater. They trail by three in the third set. You watch your high school tournament volleyball on WOSN. Our presenting sponsor today is Loudix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. The last time the Anna Rockets led was in the first set when they were up by three. The last time they led by three, they were up 9-6 in the first set. Actually, up 5-2 in the first set. That was their last three-point lead. Esther will set this one cross court where it's hit over and the point will go to Paige on trap. Good for her to get her first kill. We talked about that a little bit in the pregame, Chris. It's just one of those sneaky players. Every once in a while steps up, makes a big play like that. She got her first kill at a good time. Well, in the regional finals, you have to go with your best hitters, but that doesn't mean you never set your secondary hitters. Jenkins will set cross-court Stouter. That might have been her best hit of the day. Well, that is a great spike approach. She probably started that from about 13 feet off the net and good long strides. That's her third kill in this set, eighth overall. Anna with the service in the presence of their setter, Izzy Jenkins. Campbell has tracked track from that one down, and Spencer hits it over. Good save at the net, and a good free ball over. And then Spencer Etzler gets a set and puts one away for her team at 12-10. That's her 13th kill, and she leads all players. Back to serve will be Briley Kanapke. Set, Liz Stouter. She's come alive in the set, Chris. She has four kills and 10 overall. 13-10, that time she hit the ball through two blockers. Yep. To, Excuse me, nine overall. To give her team a three-point lead with the libero, Madison Muma to serve. Spencer Etzler's gonna get that hit through a blocker. Jenkins got a hand on it and then Stouter rolls it over. To Warbington, Kanapke got it over. Stouter got another hit. Spencer Etzler goes off a blocker. It's pushed to the back row. This is becoming a really good point. It is, best one of the game. Free balled over to Campbell Etzler. Spencer Etzler, another good wow, play. Nice that was dig. by Reed, yeah, here's Stouter again. Just tipped over and we're gonna get illegal contact. How about the fight in the Anna Rockets that time to take a four-point lead? That, that was really a nice point. A really good rally on both sides. Well, unfortunately, it had to end in that manner with an illegal contact, but still it's an Anna point. Puts him up four. That's what tips it to the middle of four, but nice Jenkins job. gets to it. Now it's Anna turning up the defense until that one. Spencer Etzler, 14-11, Anna. And Spencer will go back to serve. Well, this the first time she served today, uh, the Cavaliers picked up six points, so this is a good time if you're a Cavalier fan to have her back there. And she's gonna get an ace. That's a Burke Petroleum ace. Makes it 14-12. Just the second ace serve today for the Cavaliers. Scoreboard brought to you by Wabash Mutual. It's 14-12 Anna in the third set. That's hit by the left hand of Warmington. It comes back though. Stouter from this side. 
She's not typically over, is she, Chris? No. Well, she might not have had a chance to uh, switch. That sure. ball came over so quickly. Anna still up one. Spence Retzler serve. Going to be hit over by Warbington right to the middle of the floor. Anna keeps the lead at 15-13. That's her second kill in this set, fourth overall. Stouter now moves to the back row to serve. Driving a very successful front row run. And Morgan Blassingame scores for her team at 15-14. It's her 13th kill today. Campbell Etzler will serve. Saved over that time by Warbington. And there's Morgan blasting game. We're tied at 15 as she takes it. A good set, goes cross court. We're tied at 15. Sixteen, fifteen, Anna. Third in this set for Coldwater in this set. And in the serve, Olivia Meyer. To Etzler. The blasting game out of the middle. We're tied at 16. She's got five kills in this set. Paige Ontrop enters to play in the front row. Olivia Boring came in as well. And Mia Kanapke will serve. Cross court it goes. Ava Reed. 17-16, Anna. Rockets have not had to call a timeout in set three. Cavaliers have used one. Ashley Garrett serves. Great footwork there. There she is again. We're tied at 17. Kill number 16. And is probably happy that Morgan blasted the game, rotated to the back row to serve. Yeah. Good serve. Jenkins runs it down. Ava Reed will get a hit. And she scores. Anna keeps hanging in there, maintaining the lead. That's Reed's ninth kill. It's 18-17, Anna. Ava Reed will serve. Spencer Etzler off a blocker. The block went into the antenna. And Coldwater ties it at 18 again. We've been tied at 15, 16, 17, and 18. As Kara Kanapke will serve. Each time we've been tied, Anna's been able to take a point and keep the lead. Jenkins pushes it across court. Stouter tips. Spencer Etzler tips. Jenkins plays it out of the net. And there at the net is Harlow Hine to make a point for the Cavaliers. They lead by one. And the Anna Rockets are going to take a timeout. They trail for the first time late here in the set at 1918. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today has been brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Coldwater leads in this set now 19 to 18. The last time they were ahead in this set was 7 to 6. Well, this has been a great set. Both teams are, are playing fairly air free and passing serve well. There have been a lot of quick, we had an extremely long rally there a little bit ago, but most of the rallies have been short due to a really good passing on serve receive. There's a good pass to Jenkins. Like right there. Yes, sir. Liz Stouter comes out of the timeout and ties it up again for her team. She got a good pass from 
Izzy Jenkins that time. It's her fifth kill in this set alone, here's, 10 overall. Here's Jenkins to serve. They're tied at 19. Spencer Etzler pushes it over. The libero sets. The ball was pushed over by Callie Warbington. Coldwater couldn't handle it. I think she did that with her right hand, too. I, I think know she's right. left hand. I think that was her right hand as I'm Anna, recreating that in my brain. Anna fights back to take a one-point lead. Well, nice job by whoever got that over. Hain, or Hein, excuse me. Etzler, we're tied at 20. That's her fifth kill this set. 16th overall. It's a playing for five points now. Well, it was tied at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, right? Yep, Is that that's right? That's right. Yes, sir. We're playing to 25. Win by two here in set three. Jenkins will set out of the middle. And the left-handed, you mentioned, Kelly Warmington missed the sideline, and Coldwater takes the lead. And Anna will take their final timeout, trailing by one in the third set. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. The Coldwater Cavaliers have come back to take a 21-20 lead in this third set. Anna has called their second timeout and final timeout. The Cavs still have one, and both crowds are on their feet, Chris. Why not? Absolutely. Overpass. Oh. This is going to give the Cavaliers a chance. Kanapke pushes it to the back row. Stouter's going to get a hit, but she hits it to Campbell Etzler. Spencer Etzler off a block. Free ball over. Good job, Anna. And that one went. What do we got? We have a, we, uh, somebody was in the net here. It says number six is the number they gave up. That would be McKenna Pettis. On a hotly contested point, the Cavaliers will go up 22 20. Boy, both teams are really hot there, just really going all out. Kanapke will serve. This is Briley. Set. Stouter. Spencer Etzler. Off a of blocker, that point goes. To it Kelly. comes off the uh, block, yep. It did, yeah, I thought it did, wasn't it? Yep. The hit was by Kelly Warbington, 21. Anna, 22, Coldwater. That's her fourth kill in this set, sixth Anna, overall. Anna gets to serve. This will be the libero, Madison Muma. Spencer Etzler off of two hitters. 23-21 Cavaliers with Spencer Etzler to serve. Good play by Jenkins to keep it alive. Blasting game, and she Missed the sideline. She doesn't go that way very often, Chris. No, she doesn't. Cavaliers still lead by one, but Liz Stouter has rotated to the back row now to serve. And Morgan Blasting game hits it through a blocker, and the Cavaliers are a point away from going to the state tournament. Their 17th kill today. Campbell Etzler to serve. Set. Garrett got it in. Ashley Garrett found the sideline. 24-23 Cavaliers, but the serve goes to Anna. Just her second kill and a really good time for it. In the presence of one Olivia Meyer, and before we have that, the Coldwater Cavaliers will take their final timeout. How about the fight in the Anna Rockets, Chris? You know, they're down, oh, yeah. they're down two sets, and 
They lost each of them by, by double digits, and they have really fought back in this set. Yep. They still trail by a point. The annual TV44 WSN fundraising cam is, uh, campaign is underway. Our goal is to raise $175,000 or more by the end of the year. Your donations stay local and are used to support WTLW and WSN. You can donate at axeministries.com. And we got a bunch of people on their feet. They want to see how this one plays out. Anna to serve. Both teams are out of timeouts. Meyer serves. Set, middle, block, point, blasting game. In a tremendous third set, the Coldwater Cavaliers fought and fought and fought and ended up winning set number three, 25 23. And Chris, you got to give some props to the Anna Rockets because they were, that their play in set number three was just outstanding. Well, their season was on the line right there. You know, congratulations to them on a great season getting to the regional finals. But they can go to the locker room knowing that they played their best set of the day in set three. And yeah. they did not, they did not uh, fade away in that third set. And congratulations to Coldwater, another trip to the state tournament. They're continue to be undefeated on the season and and uh, they're just a fantastic volleyball team. The Anna Rockets will finish their campaign this year at 17 and 8. They were 8 and 4 in the Shelby County Athletic League. Coldwater will go to 28 and 0 and Chris you look back over what this team from Coldwater has been accomplishing in 1994. They lost in the state semifinals in 2017 and again in 2022 they lost in the state championship game and they're heading back to Wright State this weekend. Well, to Vandalia Butler first on, on Friday and then hopefully for them on Saturday as well to Wright State. I think one of those recent losses in the state championship was to another MAC team. For sales. So, you know, yep. you hope you can get away from all the MAC teams and then you end up playing in the state championship. But yeah, they just had a great season and um, I, you know, they're gonna be a lot of excitement in the school this week. Well, that they will. First of all, their volleyball team will be in the state semifinals on Friday at 5.30 p.m. That will be at Butler High School. They will be playing either the number 10 ranked Independence or the number four ranked Dalton team. They are playing as we speak right now. That's at 5.30. And if you're a Cavalier fan, you got that and you got football Friday night too going on both at the same time. Thanks to the OHS AA. Yeah, well, all that's going on, the uh, you know the English teachers trying to teach the three <laughs> yeah. principal parts of swim, and the math teachers trying to convince them that they need to know the five ways to prove a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So, well, so what a week it's going to be. If you're looking at what WSN is doing right now, that's all up in the air. We're taking the soccer games from this weekend, the volleyball matches from this weekend, and football playoffs from Friday. And we're going to put a schedule together you'll be able to catch on our website later on this week. We'll try to do a little bit of each thing, and obviously football Friday, hopefully some soccer, hopefully some volleyball next weekend as well. I want to thank our sponsors today. Our scoreboard sponsor has been Wabash Mutual Telephone. Our set sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor. Our ace sponsor is Burke Petroleum. Our premier sponsor today for the Coldwater Cavaliers has been Playmore Lanes, and our presenting sponsor has been Loudix Jewelry. I want to thank all the good people here at Claymont. This has been a really great venue to have a volleyball tournament at. And we want to thank our camera guy, tech guy, audio guy, and future editor for all of this back at Beatty Road, Jacob O'Neill, because he got all this going for us today. The Coldwater Cavaliers in three sets, 25-14, 25-15, and 25-23 are head to the state tournament. You've been watching the high school volleyball tournament on WOSN.